Hey guys, Marcus here with Black Elvis. Today I'm here to talk about the Stone Glacier Kiowa 3200 pack. Now, I have been running this pack all season. I ran it early fall into late October, actually even into November. And I was a little skeptical about this pack at first, um, mainly because it doesn't have a load carry option, but I have really come to love this pack. So I'm gonna walk you through a few of just the basic specs of this pack. Then I'm gonna get into some features I really appreciate. And then after that, I'm going to go over how I run this pack. Um, so to start out, this is 500D mil-spec Cordura. Um, this is a 32 cubic, 3200 cubic inch pack. Has plenty of space for your day hunts. Um, one of the cool things about this pack is the internal storage. It has a lot of storage options. There are multiple packets, and I'll get into that a little bit more once I unzip this pack. It has a full zip that goes around the entire outside of this pack, as well as a vertical zipper that goes on the full face of this pack. Um, this is a one-size-fits-all belt. I'm a 32 waist and it fits me just about perfect. I think if I was maybe a little bit smaller than a 30 waist, it wouldn't work. But for me, it works perfectly. Um, another thing to know about this, this is a modular bag. So you can take this bag off of this pack and put it onto the XO, the Crux, or the R3 frame, or any of the other frames that Stone Glacier carries. One of the coolest things about this pack that I really appreciate is the two straps in the front for a bow carry. Um, when I'm out on my e-bike and I put my bow onto this pack, it is actually one of the most secure setups I've found on a pack. I mean, my bow straps down and it does not move. And I'm not worried that any of the components or the accessories on the bow are going to get damaged or even just hit out of place. Um, as well as when I'm just hiking in the dark. Um, the bow carry is fantastic on this pack. Next thing I'll move to is this vertical zipper. Um, vertical zipper on the face goes the entire length of the pack. And this is actually one of my critiques with this pack. I love, I love the front zipper. I usually put like a, a lock in here if I'm out with my bike. If I'm not, I'll put small things in it. But because it goes the entire length, of the front of this pack, things can fall down to the very bottom and it can bunch up at the bottom. I wish, kind of like on the inside, they have these internal pockets. I wish maybe there was an internal pocket or two inside this front pocket, um, just to keep things from sliding down and bunching up at the bottom. And not a huge issue because of the internal storage and organization of the pack. But if I were to have a few comments on how they could improve this pack, that is what I would suggest. Um, let's keep on with the outside of this pack before we move to the inside. One of the cool things about this is the hip belts. They make this accessory pocket in two different sizes. This is the small. I know they make a large as well. It's a little longer. I prefer the smaller size and I run them on both sides of the pack. Um, another cool thing about this pack is on this side, they have an extended spotting scope um, carry space and that is internal. So you can open this up and if you have a spotting scope inside, this side of the pack will actually expand a little bit more to accommodate a spotting scope, which I found is very useful. On the inside, I'll run a spotting scope or a water bottle in that pocket, depending on what I'm doing that day. But the added space is really nice, especially that it makes the spotting scope fit really well, which, you know, spotting scopes don't, they don't, they're not always straight, they can be angular. Um, and it just makes it fit a little bit better on the internal organization side of things. Um, we've covered the hip belt. Let's move inside this pack a little. Like I mentioned before, it has a full zip containment. So this pack will fully open up. Um, this isn't a gear dump, but again, I wanted to go over how I run this pack. So I'll go over the gear a little bit later. Um, put these to the side just for a second. So two things I'll start out with is on this inside, there are two pockets to start out with. And these pockets are awesome. They're easy access. And that's another main feature that I really appreciate about this pack is everything is easy access. Because of the full zip that goes around the entire pack, you can get into the very bottom of your pack and not disturb anything else very easily. So I usually put gloves, 
um, headlamp, a knife in here, just depending on what I'm doing for the day. But it's a good size pocket. Um, the lower bag, I usually put game bags in. And it, there's a lot of space. These are elk game bags. So you know that these po pockets are pretty spacious and can accommodate just about anything you want to put in them. Along with this internal, these internal pockets that are built in, there are hook straps that are built into this pack. Just about everywhere inside this pack. They come from the top middle, top sides, the middle sides as well. And what I've done is I have a camp pocket at the top. And if you wanted to hook another camp pocket right below it, there are hook straps on the bottom of that pocket. However, I run a swing out pocket right below because it has those, again, internal hooks that you can attach this to. You have a lot of space in this main compartment where you can attach several pockets. I've seen guys run the same pack with two swing out pockets coming straight down the middle below a camp pocket. I haven't personally done that, but I've been wanting to try it ever since I saw it. Um, but you have a lot of options with this pack. These hooks also accommodate a hydro sleeve, which if you don't like using water bottles, that's a great option. This is the spotting scope pocket right here. I usually run a smart water bottle, just a one liter right inside of it, unless I have my spotting scope, in which case I put my spotting scope in there. And then this expands out the side so you're not taking up all the space inside of your pack with that scope. This pack is built with an internal sheet frame, which I have found to be extremely sufficient. Now, speaking to my own experience, having shot a buck and having this pack with me this year, what I ended up doing is I put all the meat parts, the back straps, tenderloins, liver and heart, I put it in this vertical pouch. I had them inside of a game bag, then I was able to actually get them inside this front pocket. Um, I think you could, I, I had a buddy with me who had a load shelf, so we didn't end up putting as much meat inside this as we could have. But if you wanted to, I think you could get two boned out quarters inside this pack with the gear you already have on you. Um, I think it's hard to say how much weight I was carrying because I had the head and the cape strapped to it as well, but it was significantly more than you'd expect seeing this pack. One of the things I'd love to see them do with this pack in the future is maybe add a meat carry option. I know it is meant for day, day hunts, but if they could add a little system in where you could extend this bag, have a little load shelf, I think it would really, really hit the spot, especially for people who like day hunting a lot and don't want to take a big pack out and a big frame. I think the internal sheet is plenty strong enough to support probably a hundred or so pounds um, with that option. Inside this pack also, there is a little pocket at the very bottom on the other side of the spotting scope sleeve that accommodates a tripod. Now I have run the tripod inside before, but most of the time I run the tripod on the outside of this pack. I've never had it move, shift, or fall out of place. I think it's plenty secure enough there, even though it doesn't have um, a hydro sleeve for a water bottle down on the side. I know a lot of guys, even in other packs that I've run, I'll put the tripod legs into that little hydro sleeve pocket at the bottom. But I don't do that with this pack and it hasn't bothered me at all. Now, the way I run this is really focused on the way I hunt a lot of the time. So I do a lot of day hunts, after work, before work, right up here in the Wasatch Front. And I don't need a pack that has a lot of stuff in it. So I run this camp pocket at the very top of the internal storage. Um, I have some food in there, some snacks, um, some Elevate. Below that, I have the swing out pocket that's a little bit smaller than the camp pocket. Um, and I have paracord, a knife, my GPS, the InReach Mini, and a lighter just in case. And right below that, I'll slip in a peak refuel mill just in case I, I'm out for a little bit longer than I expect to be. Now in early August when I'm hunting archery mule deer or elk, this pack is pretty slim. I don't need much to go in this. I'll probably have an arrow light jacket with me from Sitka, some, a, a small insulation piece to keep me warm when it, when it really cools off. Um, but most of the time I don't need that many clothes, that, that much insulation. So this pack is gonna slim down quite a bit in the early season. I'll mainly have food and gear in there. Um, like I said, I have game bags in this pocket and I have some gloves in here. I also carry a set of gloves in this front pocket as well as 
a merino beanie and my headlamp in the other hip pocket. Just for easy access early morning and late at night when I don't want to be shuffling through my pack. Um, now in the late season, when I do have a glassing set in here, I'll have puffy pants that I'll have at the bottom as well as an insulation top or two in the upper. Now again, going back to the zipper construction, getting to all these pieces is very easy um, and not disturbing everything else. I know a lot of packs you have to go down in from the top and you have to take things out to get to other things. That is not the case with this pack. And I think that is an awesome design feature of it. So in the late season, really you don't, I don't need much either. Just insulation, some more food. And again, it's mostly day hunting. I think you could take this pack and expand it quite a bit to do an overnighter, maybe two, two and a half days if you wanted to. Um, actually, one of the features I like the most is in the late season when I'm hunting with this pack and I do have it a lot more full than I do in the early season is I love how it expands. When you have these clips on the front fully cinched down, um, this, this pack can be very slim, very low profile, close to your back. But when you're expanding this, you're actually gonna expand the side zips and this will fully come out. I mean, you can fit more gear than you need in for a day hunt. And I think you could go two to two and a half days with this pack if you wanted. Again, I've been super impressed with this pack. I really love the functionality, the ease of use and the utility. Um, it's a great, great day pack. And I think you can expand this to do even more if you wanted to. Um, the next thing I'm doing with this pack is I'm gonna put it on the Evo frame um, because I wanna experience it with a load carry option. Um, but I have, I'm convinced that this internal storage and uh, organization is awesome and a necessity for me. I hope this has helped you out. Comment if you've used this pack before. Let us know how you've run it. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. Call in. Our gearheads are always willing to talk to people, answer questions as well. Have a good day.